Hey, this is Jason with Zero to Programmer, and today we're going to go uh, HTML inside the body. We're going to go over the first part of the links, and this is just going to show a basic link this time. Last last video in uh, image two, we showed um, how to use an image to go into a link, and so we're kind of uh, simplifying it a little bit. Um, and as you see, I've done a few changes to my um, project here and I just cleaned it up a little bit basically so as you see I've opened up the notepad and we are inside the uh, project that we're using that we're doing and uh, I've I said in my my last review that um, I wasn't sure if the uh, font was just a little bit small for some people especially if they had like a small screen so I turned the font up just a little bit so I went to format font um, changed the 16 I think it was on 14 and clicked OK uh, so now it's a little bigger, um, and then I start indenting. And so when you indent, uh, this makes if you're like working for somebody, and you have other uh, programmers come in and have to work on your equipment or on your pro uh, program. So it makes it really easy for them and you to go back and kind of sort through stuff pretty easily. So uh, right here, I kept. Uh, the doc type HTML how it was uh, but I indented the HTML and as you see the closed HTML is on the same tab uh, tab line as the open and close are okay so uh, the head and close head and body and body close body is on the same tagline now what we indented was because the title is actually inside the head we indented it again so this makes it like a child line to the head. Okay, so when we went inside the body, like these videos have been doing, um, we indented again to make anything inside the body a child line of the body. So, um, and in, in uh, HTML, it doesn't read any different, but it just makes it easier for someone to come in and and uh, work on it, or, or just you, if you're just trying to skim through. If it's a really large program, it's it might make it a really uh, really easier on yourself to uh, to check through this. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. Um, so yeah, right here we have the H1 test, we have the paragraph 1 test, uh, we put the image, and it's not inside a paragraph, we just put the image there uh, in between uh, paragraph 1 and technically paragraph 2, but this is paragraph 3 right here. Um, and so right here is where I played around with this because I was having a little bit of trouble, so I had a little, a little bit of trouble shooting. Uh, so when I started the project here today, I was testing everything, make sure it's going to work right, and it didn't. So what I was trying to figure out was I tried to put in a uh, fourth paragraph just to kind of uh, play around a little bit, and when I did, it was causing the fourth paragraph right here. So I would I put in like. Um, open the paragraph up and then I put um, this is fourth paragraph test and when I did that uh, it was actually pulling up as uh, another link to the image that would send you to uh, YouTube. It was just going right up under it and saying this is a fourth paragraph test but it, when you clicked on it it was sending you to my YouTube channel. So what I did, uh, I, I first thought that maybe putting this inside its own paragraph would cause it to um, separate itself, but it didn't. I could actually take this off right now and it wouldn't make a difference. Um, so I'm actually going to just delete this right quick. And so what I realized was that when I opened this right here, I did an open tag and I put my, um, my attribute inside the open tag, put it, put the link inside there, and then I close the open tag. I put the image right here, and that was it. So I closed the image, but I did not actually close the link. So this was not there. Um, and at the time, I didn't realize that you needed to. So I should have done a little bit more research, and uh, I should have figured this out already. But uh, a little bit of troubleshooting, and I figured it out. So. Um, 
make sure when you do a link, any type of link, that you go through and you actually close it because if not, anything below that will still read as that link. So let's actually go here and start a link up. Uh, so we, if you didn't know, uh, this is a basic link tag, but it doesn't do anything unless you put an attribute in it. So we're going to put uh, href, which is a hyperlink reference, which basically when you put it equal to something, whatever that something is, um, that is where the location uh, that you want to send the person to when they click on it. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to send us to my Facebook page this time just to show you that there's um, they're not the same link is not leaking down anymore uh, so this what we have inside here that is our uh, open link tag inside the open link tag you have your attribute the H reference or the hyperlink reference that sends you to the actual location and you see I closed the quotations and I closed the open tag um, a space over and whatever we put inside here is what's going to read what you click on this is what's going to actually show up on the page um, and there's something I need to talk about when we actually do that because uh, this can be very important if you're working in security if you're like a computer tech if you work inside security or doing security for um, making sure there's no hackers or, or getting any viruses or anything like that there's something here that um, is pretty important uh, so let's put zero to programmer Oops. and let's put Facebook just to kind of point that out there now like I said go ahead let's get to your next line and make sure you close your link that's very important um, so we're going to save this and try it here and open our page up and when it pulls up there you go down at the bottom here is the zero programmer Facebook and so when you click on this instead of sending you to my YouTube channel like this one does it should send you to the Facebook channel so let's see if it worked ta-da alright so let's go back and look at something real quick. There you go. Um, so if you look, oh, I got to keep my mouse on this for it to work. But if you look over to the right, bottom right of the screen, you can see the uh, HTTPS uh, colon slash slash www.facebook.com slash zero to programmer uh, slash question reference equals bookmarks. Not sure if all that's needed, but hey. Alright, but that's actually telling you where you're really going. So, let's say I wanted to be mis mischievous. Almost couldn't say that there. Mischievous. And uh, let's say I wanted people to think that you're going to go to my YouTube channel. Let's save that. Oh, well, okay, so I've changed this to the YouTube channel, so let's click on it. But wait, before you click on it, take a look over here, and it still says uh, that you're going to the Facebook. So let's click on it and see which one's lying. <gasps> yeah. So what I meant, what I want to show you there is that even though when you see the page, whenever you see that link, whatever it says don't trust it. Um, you can hover over it and then you can read. Um, if you're on a phone, uh, there is a way, I believe, like if you're on like an iPhone or something, I believe you can actually uh, hold your finger onto the link and then it'll ask you if you want to copy and paste and a lot of the times when you paste it onto like a notes or something, it will actually send or write right across the link 
that is actually sending sending it to you. So you can actually check it like that. But let, okay, so let's say, um, okay, let's say this was you you came across this in like an email, and it said, oh, go to Zero Programmer uh, YouTube channel right here. But uh, you click on it, and it sends you to some site that sends you like 400,000 viruses. Um, so you thought that you were going to you, my YouTube channel, but somebody has sent you an email and causing your computer to probably crash. So that is one way uh, that you can check to make sure that you're not going to get messed up. And mo I'm not going to send you an email more than likely, so you don't have to worry about if you ever see that on there, just don't click on just delete it. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's one way to check. Like you can do that. Um, there are other ways that they can do this. They can still uh, get you, but uh, we can go over that some other time. I'm not going to go all into that right now. But uh, that is something I wanted to show you. Um, and it could be it could be a lot worse than this. It could say. Uh, facebook.com or something and you click on it thinking you're going to go to Facebook and then you go to some insane site or something so uh, yeah let's take a look at the code and um, so that is the uh, the basic link of it and okay so that's going to a website but let's say if you, I, I can't really show you this because I don't have another page, but um, just basically the only difference is uh, right here, instead of having to put in the website, you would just go and put in uh, your file location, like, like we did the link. We just put in where the link was located. And so if you had another page, you would just put in where that uh, link or where that uh, page was located in your files and that will actually pull up a local uh, page so if you link somebody and it's on your same page it would actually send them to another page inside your website um, and there are some uh, some uses for that that we will probably go over in the next video I have some notes here and I'm pretty sure that's what we're covering in that We got some good stuff coming up, though. Some, a lot of um, editing tags and stuff like that. It's gonna get pretty good. But I thought this was pretty, pretty handy. And and with the um, with the security feature there, you 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 could uh, you since you know now you know this, it, it could be a lot easier on you to keep you from getting viruses. Uh, also, just a side note: if you haven't already done this. Uh, you should at least have, you, you really need just one antivirus and just one um, anti-spyware. Uh, it, it, it'll keep you from getting a good bit of viruses, it, it'll keep you updated, but you don't want more than that because they start attacking each other thinking that they're viruses and so yeah it's just good if you have one and one, the, the antivirus and the uh, anti-spyware. Those two work really good together, and uh, if you want um, my preferrals, I, I can send you that in, into the comments. So uh, that's pretty much it for today. Um, Want to get this one? Go ahead and post. Um, I'll have another one on Wednesday that will go over a few other things inside the links. So uh, stay tuned to that. And this has been Jason with Zero Programmer, and I'll see you next time.